Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Ecom Insiders. And in today's video, I wanted to go ahead and take a look at a store that has a really interesting, very unique concept in print on demand that is doing so, so well. They've kind of took a little bit of a sneaky route into the movie industry and being able to capitalize on some of the most popular movies out there without necessarily infringing on copyrights or anything like that. And I think this is a really cool store, a really unique idea that they've come up with. So we're gonna take a look at their store, the design process, the insane margins that these guys are actually getting on these products. And we're gonna take a look at how much the store is potentially making by utilizing the reviews to calculate an estimate off their revenue. So let's go ahead and jump into the store. If you do like these videos, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel out an absolute ton. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this store. So guys, this is the store right here. It's called from.co. And essentially what these guys do is take frames from movies and put them on canvases. And that's kind of what their name is, little play on words right there. And I think this is a really cool concept. So you can see right here, 30% off all frames, free shipping on orders over $130. So they've got a little new year seal going right here. The website looks really nice, but let's take a look and see exactly what these guys do. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I'm interested to see the process behind actually creating one of these but i think it would be a really cool idea and a really cool concept for a print on demand store like they have done so you can see you're welcome to from the name comes from a combination of two words from and frame so essentially what you're seeing here on the screen is like stills from each scene of the movie so they're maybe taking like 100 200 scenes out of the movie they take the base color or the main color from that scene in the movie and then they put it into like a little line so what you're getting here is a timeline off the whole movie so that's like a really interesting concept but i really i'm not 100 percent sure but i really don't think you're going to get into copyright issues with this again not a lawyer don't take that as advice but i don't think this would infringe on any copyright issues here uh, and you can see right here this is like the star wars uh v i'm not a big star wars fan but star wars v and that's the whole timeline of the movie so if you're a big lover of a specific movie you can come on here and get a product like this and you can see right here i thought initially when i seen these i thought they were like the metal kind of canvases or the metal aluminium prints that you can get uh from websites like displate and stuff like that i thought that they will be printed on this. And I think that will be much better way to do this is actually on them aluminum prints if you could possibly find a supplier for them. I think some print on demand companies actually do that, but these guys are just doing it simply on canvases. I think they've done it kind of sneakily because right here when I'm looking at this, it doesn't look like a canvas to me. Their mock-up looks a little bit more like a metal print and it'll be interesting to see when we go into the reviews if anyone else thought that as well. But right here, this is just a canvas. So let's click into one of these, see what sort of price that these guys are selling them for. So you can see right here, this is Interstellar. Great movie, one of my favorite movies. Check it out if you haven't watched it and you like kind of space stuff. But I absolutely loved their product page. So right here, obviously pick your size. These are actually very, very big. I've actually looked to see if I can find the exact same sizes that they're getting. I can't, on Printify, I find something fairly similar. So we'll take a look at the margins here in a second. But let's just go through the product page first. You can see this one specifically, six reviews on it. Uh, they've got 30 by 12, 40 by 16, right up to a 60 by 24, which is really, really big. And then they have two types of canvas. They've got like a 0.75 inch frame and then a 1.25. If you're getting your uh, actual, you know, kind of canvases off Printify or Guten, it's probably going to be a 1.25 frame. Right here, we can see like, this is really cool. I love this part of the product page where they're like giving you the specific parts or maybe your favorite part of the movie, some of the most active scenes in the movie. They highlight them right here on this little card, Cooper vs. Man, the dust storm, the Cooper station. So they're highlighting different parts of the movie. And I think that's going to trigger, you know, kind of flashbacks for people on, you know, parts of that movie that they watch. Maybe they loved it. And I think it's like a talking piece in your house, right? If you're buying a uh, kind of a piece of art or you know, some artwork for your wall. I think what you're really buying there is a talking piece a lot of the time, especially when it's like really, really expensive art. I think that that's what them really mega rich people are doing. They're just buying a talking point in their house. And I think this is a cool way to do this because I think if someone came into my house and I had one of these hanging in the wall, I'd be like, what is that? Is that just an abstract piece of art? Or then you can go ahead and you can describe oh no, this is actually the scenes from the movie. And I think that's a really interesting kind of concept from the product. They've got these little gifts here, which I think look really, really cool. It kind of shows the process of the actual, you know, film. So you can see here, taking the scene, blending that in and showing exactly how that works and how it's all put together. And then they've got some reviews down here at the bottom as well. So you can see here, this one has all five-star reviews. These guys are 
using looks so i'm not 100 sure if they're like removing the bad reviews or whatnot but this one has six five star reviews and if we go back up here let's take a look at the pricing so they're charging 73.95 for these and right now they've got a 30 percent discount on so i'm not sure maybe they normally charge 107 but even at that price point that is pretty much buying on a hundred dollars at the current exchange rate that we've got right now so you're talking a hundred dollars for this so how much does it actually cost them to get a sized frame like that well if we go over to printify right here we've got a 36 by 12 print right here and if we go into settings we'll be able to see the price on that right so a 36 by 12 i think there's just a 30 by 12 so this one is actually slightly bigger uh they might be getting this even cheaper than this but that's only 22.39 plus i think 12 dollars shipping for this size of canvas so that's the sort of price you can get this exact canvas for you can see right here looks great on the printify website this is fulfilled by a company called circle graphics for literally 35 dollars shipped out and i can bet you that these guys have shipping on their website i think it actually says yeah free shipping on orders over a hundred dollars so you're either going to have to buy the bigger framed versions which again bigger margins in them so they can kind of offset that shipping price but i'm going to guess shipping's around ten dollars on this website if you're just going out there and buying you know the smallest version that they have and if you go ahead and you add the buffs right here which is getting that thicker frame we're already getting that's the thick frame right here uh, you can see i think it says somewhere if we come in uh, and we go to start designing and we come over here to settings and we go down you can see that's a 1.25 inch frame so that's already their premium frame so if you were selling this you could sell it at that price point because yours is the premium version of that and they're selling that for 92 so like 115 dollars 120 dollars or so uh, and it's literally costing you 35 shipped out the door so you've almost like 90 dollars margin right there to play with on your facebook ads and don't even talk about facebook ads on this product it's so damn easy you just go and target every single movie out there that you're doing obviously you're going to go after the most popular movies first and then start to dive in to the more niche stuff but you can see right here list of all films if we click on that we scroll down they got all the most popular movies out there that you know are out there right now and they've got a lot of them and i'm sure they're just adding and adding to this over time and i would love to know i'm not 100 percent sure how they do this uh, i have a kind of small idea of how they actually do it uh, using a little tool in premiere pro but again i'm not going to go through that in this video you could figure it out if you really wanted to but this is such a cool concept so next up let's go ahead take a look at how many reviews these guys have gotten let's estimate how much revenue they're making from this store so i think if we head down to the bottom we can get the reviews uh, so let's click reviews right here and we have 712 reviews i'm going to say their average order value is 100 dollars again very conservative estimate on this i'm going to say they have a pretty good conversion rate because people are coming in probably from the most specific movie that they're clicking on i uh, will take a look at their facebook ads here in a minute as well but let's pull up the calculator our trusty calculator so we can see here that they've got 712 reviews on their store so what we like to do is you know get a kind of average of how many orders they've been be done on the store i like to do one in five people leave a review i think that's a pretty conservative estimate i'm gonna say it's probably more like one in ten but for the sake of this video we will do one in five so 712 we'll times that by five to get us our total number of reviews which would be in around 3500 and then we can times that by our average order value which i'm going to estimate at about 100 dollars again i think it's probably going to be a lot higher considering their price points considering that the lowest priced item is you know roughly 100 dollars dollars plus shipping uh but we'll go for it on this right now and we'll do 3500 times 100 dollars and that gives us an estimated revenue of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars selling movie prints and i think this is really really cool people seem to really really like these if we scroll down here uh you get really good reviews especially with canvases of people like putting them up on their wall this is actually really cool over here uh you can see like they've got like the poster of the movie and then put a uh, from below it uh it looks i shouldn't be left on a tender with my credit card on the from website uh so that's pretty cool uh so yeah like they're getting a ton of good reviews in here i think the concept is absolutely amazing now let's go ahead and take a look at their facebook ads and see what they're doing over there i'm gonna assume i haven't actually looked at this yet but if we hop over here i'm gonna assume what they're actually doing is just targeting the specific movies over on facebook so let's go to see all i'm gonna imagine there's an ad for like each movie go to ad library I wonder how long these guys have been around 26th of february so these guys have really been able to scale up this year and do really really well so let's go for all right here 
and you can see they're selling worldwide. I'm going to assume they're probably doing print on demand. Uh, every, mover lo every movie lover needs this. So they're running like probably broad ads to movie lovers. And then right here, this is like obviously a Star Wars one. So you can see I'm a huge Star Wars fan. So this means so much. Uh, right down here, we've got, what is that? He's pointing a gun. So again, Star Wars obsessed son. So it definitely looks like Star Wars is like a big keyword that they're using. And seems to be something that they're targeting a lot. They've been running these from the 25th of December. So these are like brand new ads that have popped out. Let's scroll down a little bit to find some of the other ones uh we can see here i didn't think this product was crap but i was very surprised and happy with the quality it was a housewarming gift and it blew my friend away and when he realized it was his favorite movie he loved it even more scott pilgrim vs the world so they're targeting different specific movies right here they got some black friday seal stuff running uh, i'm actually surprised they're not running like more specific targeted movie stuff uh maybe these broad movie ads work really really well for them but again Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this little store review. I know it was a quick one that we just blasted out here, but I couldn't not do a video on this specific store. I really thought this was an interesting, unique idea, and it just shows you that there's so many different ideas out there that you can come up with. I know a lot of people think, oh, print on demand, saturated. You can do something like this, right? Get creative. Go look on Fiverr and see what people are doing in you know different things. Or go look on Etsy and see what people are doing over there and see how can you can take these ideas, spin them a little bit, change them a little bit, and turn it into your own brand. If you want help with that, there is a little program that you can check out down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do leave a big thumbs up on it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.